So this week's video is literally just going to be this and that. Uh, I ain't got a clue what I'm going to film. It's just whatever takes my fancy at the time. And also, I will probably be filming this video myself like an absolute peasant. So I sold this phone for £34 on an offer. It was listed for 40 quid. So this old doorbell for £6 plus postage. So I sold this sewing machine. I won't get it out. For £49.99. I sold 250 of these records for £115. Just sold these on an offer for £26.99. Sold this Heineken sign for £28 on an offer. Sold this Carlsberg drip tray, paid a pound at car boot, sold for £13.50. Sold this Carlsberg Lager beer font to the same person as the drip tray for £30. Sold this big whiskey bottle which people use for saving money for £35. Sold four bars of vintage soap for £9 to a repeat buyer so I don't know if they bought this soap already. Sold these Sony speakers for £70. Sold that 32 inch TV for £60. Sold that rubber Guinness beer mat bar runner for £13. Had this vintage onyx and brass freestanding ashtray sold for 30 on an offer. It was up for 50, but it doesn't owe me anything. These are the brass bits of it. So today I've got to get all this furniture in storage. This is what came in yesterday and it's all processed and listed. I'll just give you a quick run through of what is listed for. So this walnut effect coffee table with lightly carved legs. That is up for a hundred, I believe. Got this nice bench or table. It's a carved like horse and cart. That there is nice chunky wood, heavy duty, really heavy. That's up for a hundred. Got nester tables with glass tops, so that one, that one, and that one. Little carved edges, carved legs, glass tops. One's a circle, that one's a square, and this one is a rectangle. They all fit under each other, believe it or not, and you can't even see that they're different shapes. That's listed for 110. Then we have these chairs here. I've got, so these here, I've got four of them. The other one's there. That's listed for 200. Then we got these Rattan style chairs. They are a set of four, listed for 150. And then we got these chairs here. There is five chairs, one of them's a carver. Then you've got like a little footstool table. That's listed for 200, I think. Then we've got this little side table, plant stand. Can't really see it here. That's listed for 60 because it's got damage there. It just needs gluing on. It's an easy repair. All been mentioned. A corner, freestanding glass display cabinet is listed for 150 some more of these chairs there's only three of these and i think one's got damage uh they're listed for 100 or 150 then we got this cabinet here don't know if you can see it very well it's a big bamboo style cabinet so you can put like your stereo or DVD player, video player, whatever you want to put in it. Uh, that's listed for 150. Then we've got this drop leaf table with three chairs. So these chairs here, two matching carver chairs and then one not matching, similar design. 
that set is listed for off the top of my head 200 then we got these leather studded chairs there's a set of four of them they're listed for 150 then we got this that is my favorite piece so it's meant to have a mirror here but the mirror is missing apart from that it's absolutely fine no damage you can't really like tell unless you like look but it's nice leather top so we thought it was a writing desk but it's actually a vanity desk it's on casters it's got big heavy carved legs lovely so we've done that as a set and that is listed for 400 i think and then today we got this 19th century wooden bed it's not complete and there is damage so maybe like two three hundred in that condition we get that listed today we've got some nice vintage radials again we test them and list them today regardless of whether they work or not they'll be listed uh, people buy them as a prop so now i'll get all this into storage and I bought that yesterday off of Joe Closet Geek for 15 quid and we put that in the shop. So I've just got back from another auction house. I'll show you what I've got, what I paid. So first we have some three pound I paid for that, plus that, this one here, so mint condition. Everything with it, all complete. Three pound paid for that and that. So I should get 30 for that, let's say, 50 for that. Then we have a family size Bible from 1894, uh, £7 paid. So this is the best condition one I've ever had, to say. Lovely condition. £7 paid. I get £50 all day long for them in bad condition, so that one I might get 60 for. Then we have a Fender brass one, plus the fireside dogs there. What do I pay for them? £25. I'll get £75 for that one all day long, and I'll get between. I, I normally get 50 for these, but bigger ones, the fireside dogs here. So I'll get 30 for them, I reckon. I'll push for 40, but I'll accept offers of 30. Vintage skates, seven pound for them. And then the white ones are a bit ropey. But uh, these ones here are lovely. So uh, let's just say uh, I get 30 for these, 15 or 20 for them. I'll aim again for 40 or 50 for them. Then, what else do we have? The suitcases. So, job lot of suitcases, paid eight pound. I thought they were bigger. If they was bigger, I could have got like 30 pound a pop. So I'll probably just job lot them. Uh, what do I pay again? Eight pound. I'll job lot them 40 quid. See what happens. Then we have uh, what do we have next? Right, six pound <laughs> for these. Oh my God. Look at that. I think he had rabies. Look at this. Yeah. Got a little moustache. Then we got this one here. So six pounds and then this. I thought it was just a, a tail, but on the looks of it, it's like a leg. Anyway, let's just say 30, 30, maybe 15, 20. And before you Karens mention it, I didn't make this stuff. I just bought it and it's better to resell it so it's not killed for no reason. 
Okay. Oh, and the best one yet is a 17th century style reenactment helmet. I'll just show you it. Look at that. Beauty. £30 paid for this. Get 100 quid for this all day long. All day long. Lovely. So this is a better look at it. I very much doubt this is original. It's probably a reproduction, but still 100 quid for that. If it was real, you're looking at silly money. But yeah, there it is. Dinner time. So who can trump this for a dinner? Cheeky little block of cheese. A nice smoked sausage. Who don't love a cheeky sausage, eh? And then some sticky toffee eclairs. Not just sticky toffee eclairs. Out of date sticky toffee eclairs. So who can trump that, eh? Random sale just come through. So this here is a stressless. Gone for 250. I had a surprise visitor, and he is <laughs> Elon Musk. No, it's uh, John Luke. So, we did a bit of deal. We made a video, didn't we? And had a deal. So, yeah. so you'll find John Luke on just John Luke on YouTube. Yeah, John Luke. I'll, I'll tag it down below and everything. And um, he's done a video here today as well. So, go over, subscribe, watch that video, and then come back to my channel. <laughs> and that's the end of my video for today. So, Peace out. Ciao. So that's me all finished up for the day. Night time when you finish, night time when you start. Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up here. Please like, comment, subscribe. And in a few days or a few weeks, uh, John Luke will have a video out on his channel of just a little tour of this place. So go check it out and give him a subscribe too. Cheers.